Hi, my name is Parag Paul and welcome back in my new video. In this video, we are going to analyze the portal frame, a single story portal frame with the help of IS code 875 part 1 1987 and this spreadsheet. Okay, basically you can see in last previous uh, portal frame what we observed that the portal we loading applications what we are applying on a portal frame are these are very random, not specific. Okay. So when you are going to analyze any portal frame, the load should be specific one. Okay. So thus we are going to use all that particular kind of dead load conditions today. Okay. To check what kind of the deflections may occur due to the realistic loading pattern. So let's get start. Click on here and click OK. Okay. So what we did, we just check our Indian standard. Now you need to click over here, provide all the data. We want only single portal frame, provide two grid lines, in y direction provide one. The distance between the two column is 6 meter, in y direction provide only one. So we are, we want only one single story building, click one, that's it and click OK. So as usual, we will get the three windows with basic, with 2D and with the 3D. Okay, so if your software is running slowly, clear few unwanted softwares okay clear the temporary files then it will be work properly understand now because etav is a very huge uh, software for a building that's why it takes so much of time to reload all the data okay so uh, just wait okay so now as you can see the 3d window 2d window and the model explorer so basic what things we have to do just go to the project check the design preferences Go to the structure layout, check the stories and check the grid. Go to the properties and assign the material. Right click and add new. Use the Indian one, the concrete. M20 grade of concrete we will use. Click OK. Everything is OK, right? Concrete isotropic. OK, click OK. After that frame section, right click and add new property. Concrete rectangular. First we will add the concrete one. Okay, so, sorry, the column one. So write the column 300 by 300. Okay, and the material should be M20, what we modify. And the data you need to put over here 300 by 300. Right, click OK. After that, again, you need to add the beam one. Click add new property, click over here, give the specific name beam. The dimension is 300 by 400 okay and the m20 grade of concrete 400 is a depth and 300 is a width understand the maximum is that will be the depth for a beam okay now everything is all right so now we will assign okay this process is very short and very quick okay so don't uh, take more time for that it's very systematic process okay click here for assigning of the all the properties go here select the beam first and assign the beam right here you can select the column and assign the column now the main process start from here okay now look as i found yesterday that few of the you guys not even properly got the analysis why because whenever you provide the support conditions that should be very realistic if you not provide the support properly it will not give you that kind of output so how we can do this just click cursor and select like this click cursor and select like this okay now after that go to assign okay joint and the restraint fix support we are going to use apply and then okay okay now what will be the next version now after assigning all these particular properties of column and beam the next step is the load condition in stat pro in a tab there is a one once one plugin which help you to automatically assign the dead load of the element portal element like column or beam but you should know if you want to do it manually how you can provide that loading pattern okay for that you can use is code 875 okay part number one okay 1987 where you can get the unit weight of material and the other restrictions in which 
the weight is given in kilonewton per meter cube okay this always read as kilonewton per meter cube kg per meter cube okay so here whatever the load you throw you have it is for the metric cube only and the load in kg the weight you have that is also in meter cube okay like kg per meter cube so now my basic example is my basic question to you is if this portal frame consists exist it means on this beam we are going to construct a masonry wall that wall may be made up of the burnt clay or made up of the engineering bricks understand and also it says the brick is having some dimension what we provided right now for that you need to calculate the dead load conditions the what is the dead load provided or acute by this particular beam understand so whenever the designing at the designing time we can assign only a single command so that particular command will automatically take the overall dead load of the building but you you need to know how to calculate the dead load okay so how you can do this look first of all you can follow this particular my spreadsheet here the width you need to provide whatever width we provided for a beam is 300 and the depth we provided 400 don't change this length because always calculate the load for a unit quantity if you apply for a unit quantity it will automatically reflect to the all particular length because we provide in a uniformly distributed load pattern wise okay or you can also provide for 0 to 1 meter length no issue related to that okay because we have that kind of provision in it accordingly this according to this input and according to this this percentage include uh, the according to this percentage we are getting the load dead load of the beam as a 3 kilo newton understand now we are going to also construct the masonry wall over it so what is the dead load of the masonry wall that also we are we need to know that particular load we can get from the IS code 875 part 1 according to 1077-19879 which is a common burnt clay brick IS code they provide a dead load of the brick as of 15.70 to 18.85 so among them or between these two load conditions or between this range you can use the load for a brick construction if you are using the common burnt clay brick if you are using the engineering brick you need to use the 20.21.20 kN. If you want to, if you are using the heavy duty bricks, you need to use 24.50. Okay, so this kind of the brick work already given over here. Okay, so you can use this, but this is related to the brick. There is also the masonry wall given that we will discuss in the next uh, video. But in particular video, we are going to use the common burnt clay brick. Okay, so 15.70. Okay. 15.70 plus 3 so equals to this 3 plus 15.70 for a masonry wall so beam so the dead load of the beam plus dead load of the wall is equals to 18.8 so we are round off make it as a 19 okay so we are going to provide a uniformly distributed load of the 19 kilometer so select the beam go to assign go to the frame load select down distributed load provide here 19 okay and click on apply okay so this 19 kilonewton load kilonewton per meter load which is a uniformly distributed one consists the dead load of the masonry wall and the consistent dead load of the beam itself now we need to add the dead load of the column okay remember here column load the dead load of the column is calculated like this we have the width as a 300 and the depth as a 300 uh, sorry the this side uh, this uh, width as a 300 and the height you can also use okay the one but here remember that when you whenever you are going to calculate the load of the column and that time you need to provide exact height so height is 3 kilonewton so height is a 3 meter so your loading is 7 kilonewton okay so so provide the point load okay of 7 kilonewton right so how you can do this just select the beam okay go to the sign okay or you can just select this joint by clicking on cursor okay just wait a minute select the joint properly okay go assign joint load forces okay in uh, this z direction since z direction you can provide 
the minus of okay minus of 7 apply okay so you can see the minus 7 kilo newton load is applied for the column right so this kind of the dead load we provided now the rest load if you want to provide okay that also you can provide it's like the slab load okay so you can provide a slab load or four finish other two kilo newton for this particular uh, portal frame example so select the beam go to the sign select the frame load select the distributed load okay and provide the 2 kilo newton floor finish plus uh, the slab load okay and click apply okay okay like this now after that if your building required a thrust that particular example we will discuss in next video in next video we will, will try to make sure that we will use a different kind of portal frame which is a sway portal frame with some inclinations okay and you in this particular thing in after this watching this video what you have to do you need to use a different kind of the material okay like you can use the cement also you can use the ordinary aluminum rapid hardening cement okay you can use that for load condition also take this load and apply on the portal frame let's see how much amount of the variations you will get okay the combination what what is the meaning of combination is combination meanings is how much amount of the load is applicable on your building remember as i provided a dead load i provided the masonry load okay here i not even provided masonry load i provided only brick load okay so if you want to provide a masonry road there is something 32 or 33 number over there okay i can show you just wait a minute okay okay just wait a minute so in that particular like you can see this masonry work okay in this masonry work or masonry stone if your masonry is of brick you can use this kind of loading if your masonry of stone you need to use this loading condition so apply all you need to practice all analysis with respect to this particular loading conditions okay and tell me if you have any problem right now let us analyze the portal frame just click over here okay we will give the name portal frame portal frame third okay save the whatever the excel sheet i will provide you and your uh, like during this uh, video itself don't worry about the excel sheet you can use that excel sheet okay even though okay so now you can see the deflection over here so i'll check the shear force on this side okay with value apply okay so you can see you can see the value okay you can see the value we have 13.1569 bending movement over here okay we have very less like one seven point four four five okay here you can see seven point four five it is very less it is very less bending movement we have understood so this is very less bending movement we have okay now accordingly let's check the share forces go to here this share okay this share we will take use apply okay now we will change in this particular video i'll tell you more things like what when you click on here you can see the loading condition over here if you provided any live load click apply okay okay if you provided any live load okay then that particular loading pattern will reflect over here but you not provided the live load you only use the dead load okay that's why it only provided the dead load pattern okay now i'll i'll tell you how to create the combinations okay because whenever we are going to define whenever we are going to analyze any kind of portal frame we really require the combinations okay as for the is code as i told you dead load plus live loss plus wind load different different kind of the uh, loading combinations are provided that all loading kind of combinations you need to know then and only then you can use the you can properly design the portal frame okay so for today lectures we are going to stop over here okay so please practice with all this uh, uh, loading condition and let's see what are the effects come from the output okay okay so have a nice day bye bye